Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Fight and it's back to some Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate action and I'm going to be taking on the classic towers as the Terminator. Thank you very much. Gonna go do this and uh, yeah have a bit of fun whilst we're at it. So without further ado let's get into it. Who is Lin Kuei? Stupid machine. Round one. Fight. Well, that's a different look to Frost. I like it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's it. Shut up and eat my shotgun. Oh, damn, you go. Eat my shotgun to the face. That's round one. Get Come up. on, Frost. I really like that look for Frost. It's good. It's good. Round two. Fight. Right, let's go, go. As a Terminator should just beating him down in the corner. Ooh. Right. Practice this, but I haven't been able to do it. Botched it. Haven't been able to hit that fatality yet. It's annoying. <laughs> Future war boom booms. Right, who did I see next? It was uh, Sonya. So, let's move on to the next one. You know, folks call me a female Terminator. Why? Get ready to find out. Round one. Fight. And that's a very Sarah Connor look of you, girl. Get down. <laughs> Great moment in Terminator 2. My favourite film of all time. So. Bam! Oh, damn it. <laughs> so I've got a lot of love for, you know, Terminator 2, Terminator and the original Terminator. Not so much Terminator 3. I mean, like, as a good standalone movie, it's, you know, it's fine. Bam! Boot to the face. Right. Yes! <laughs> It is nice. Yes? Yes. Very nice. But yeah, Terminators 1 and 2, you know, love with all of my heart. And like I said, Terminator 2 is my favourite film of all time. Um, Terminator 3, like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, shouldn't really be a Terminator movie after Terminator 2. Like, it, it should have just ended there. But, you know, money, everything like that. And, um, yeah. Uh, Terminator Salvation, like, they ruined that with uh, single-handedly with the trailer, which, you know, sucked. 
and uh, I'll get on with my crit actually you know what I'll do my full critique of the Terminator movies at the end you know not full critique but I'll give you my opinion anyway it's uh, Jackie Jackie Briggs next Five bucks says you're here to kill me. Of course. I'm a Terminator. You can do this, Briggs. Round one. Alright, Jackie. Let's make this quick. Bam! Just quick. Oh yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, damn! Come in. Screw the dragon challenge. Oh, no. Oh, good. Bam! Bam! There we go. There's another dragon. Oh, God. Sod the dragon challenges. Round two. Fight. Damn it. Get out of my face. Damn it. Doing what? Stop jumping, Terminator. Right, that's it. Finish you off. Damn it. Oh, for f I don't know why he was jumping. I wasn't pressing the jump button. I wanted to do something, you know, special. Damn it. Well, got me a few more coins for the uh, crypt. I like going into the crypt after these. It's always fun. Uh, Johnny, you're up. To be or not to be? Leave or be terminated. Not to be. Round one, fight! Bam! Oh, damn. Damn. Now you said get over here is awesome. Round two, fight. Right. Watched it again. The wins. <sighs> I'm annoyed at myself for watching these. I really am. And the thing is, I can't get it on Kronika because she's next. Damn. Oh well, I was trying for a friendship. Yeah. Oh well, let's get to Kronika. I have been expecting you. Your life, your name, they will be wiped from history. Come, it is time to die. Alright, you slippery time bitch. 
do this. Really good here. No. No. Oh, man. time reversal things. I hate them. I hate them. Damn you, Kronika. Oh, it is on this time, Kronika. It is on. Come here. Ugh. anyway. Get the fuck out of here. hate Jackie. No, like, honestly, I've never liked her as a, as a character. Oh, fuck off, Kronika. Damn it. No! No. No! Time reversal move and Jackie being the dick. Oh. Round one. Fight. Fuck you. All right. No, you fucking don't. Why give me Jackie again? 
I want to, I want to blow your fucking face off, you little bitch. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it! No, you. epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game. The only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero. Well, those final fights certainly showed my limitations, didn't they? I mean, damn, I mean, like, I know I can be bad, but I didn't know I would be that rough when playing as, um, you know, Terminator. Anyway, but we did it. So, uh, quick rundown of how I feel about the Terminator movies. Keep in mind, I've not seen Dark Fate, um, but I've heard things about it. So, first Terminator, I love it. Like, it, to me, even you know, almost 40 years on after its release, I still consider it to be quite possibly one of the best action sci-fi movies of all time. It is absolutely legendary. Have some things aged poorly, such as, you know, the bad stop motion animation that he used for when the Terminator's walking inside the um, uh, factory. Like, well, yeah, I mean, in comparison to today's special effects, it looks like really corny and bad. Um, but yeah, it's still one of the best action films of all time and still holds up. Uh, Terminator 2, as I said, favorite film of all time. My favorite one, I love that movie. It's, you know, it's what got me loving the film. You know, I was very young when I watched it. Shouldn't, but I did, you know? And I just love the movie. It's just fantastic, brilliant. You know, the special effects today still hold up. The story, the characters, everything about the film holds up and it should have ended there. Uh, Terminator 3. I was really excited when Terminator 3 came out and I thought it was an incredibly bold move for what they did for the ending. You know, kind of like bringing it full circle and it was supposed to be leading into like a whole new trilogy of movies potentially leading up to how uh, humanity won uh, the war so like how they won the war and then sent the Terminators back in time and everything like that um, but the film just shouldn't have been made like I know Money and Schwarzenegger made a very tasty penny out of it you know according to reports he made something like 25 million dollars out of it um, whether you believe that that is, you know, totally up to you. Don't take my word as gospel. But, you know, 
if you take it, if you take the movie for what it is, it's great. You know, if you watch the movie as a um, as part of the Terminator series, and if you've you know got a good in depth knowledge of say like the history, then yeah, it's not really for you, which is you know fair enough. Uh, Terminator Salvation, like I said, the movie was ruined by the trailer. The trailer did nothing to really um, help the movie. It's um, well to help the series. Um, yeah, and obviously it's the one, uh, the movie where Christian Bale had his famous meltdown and started uh, shouting at a lighting technician. You know. Um, <laughs> I used to have a, a remix of that. It was a, it was kind of like a cheesy dance remix. It, it was hilarious. Uh, I think it was called Bail Out, something like that. But yeah, the movie it's not brilliant. Uh, Terminator Genesis supposed to be the beginning of a whole new trilogy, you know, going back and kind of restarting everything. And I'll be quite honest, I hated it. I thought it was terrible, simply terrible. Um, the first, the best bits of the movie was literally everything they did um, to leading up to about the 90, uh, all of the sequences set in 1984 everything after that I thought was nothing but pure garbage um, yeah I hated the movie I thought it was awful then um, what's the one after that oh yeah Dark Fate not watched it I've heard now it's good but Again, it's another one of those films that just shouldn't exist. And it is what it is, you know? Anyway, that brings us to the end of this uh, episode of Let's Fine. As always, if you like it, drop it a like down below. Um, share the video as well. The more shares, more views, more views, the more that the channel continues to grow. And the more that I get to do is, <coughs> excuse me, for you. Subscribe to World Minus One Entertainment if this is your first time on the channel. Don't forget to check out all of the other content. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified about any and all content that goes live onto the channel. You know, drop us a comment below. You can say that I suck all you want in the comments. I know. I already know this stuff. So, yeah. But yeah, um, drop us a comment below. What do you think of the Terminator movies? Do you love them? Do you, you know, even with like the bad ones like Genesis or Salvation? Do you still like them for, you know, reasons that you have? But yeah, let me know in the comments below. So, thank you for joining me on this episode of Let's Fight, and I will see you next time to either whip some ass or get my ass whipped. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs>